that I can do. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. hung up. Uh, just a minute. Is it for me, dear? Oh, no, no. It's for me. It's Sheila. Oh. Uh, Maeve, do you need anything? Oh, no, darling. I just came up to get little John's teddy bear. You go on with your call. Look, I can't talk to you now. Okay. Now, when can I see you? I don't know. I don't know, but not today. Dee, I want <laughs> Look, I can't. I'm not feeling very well. In fact, I'm feeling miserable. Then you need a doctor. Listen, I can make you feel better. You know that. Yeah, temporarily, maybe, but I'll feel worse tomorrow. I can make you feel wonderful forever. Listen, let's meet at my house, and we'll talk all about that. I can't go to your house. Then meet me for dinner. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Because I need to see you, Dee. No, I mean, I... even if it's just to talk. I can't tonight. Listen, let's have dinner at Lem's. Roger, that's impossible. Why? Because it's a public place and somebody might see us together. But we don't have to get there at the same time. It can be an accidental meeting. It's not going to work. You can find a way to make it work. No, I can't. Look, don't do this to me. Do you realize what a terrible situation you're putting me in? Well, how do you think I feel? I'm not even able to see you. Look, we just saw each other last night. We wouldn't have if I hadn't stopped in at Ryan's. All right, all right. I'll meet you at Lem's at uh, 7. I'll be waiting. Oh, okay, well, um, so long, Sheila. This poor thing seems about to lose an ear. Oh, I'll sew it tomorrow, uh, I promise. Well, maybe I can get to it right now. No, no, don't bother. Uh, Maeve, I want to thank you for looking after little John. Um, I hate to ask you this, but... Ask me what? Well, if I feed him and I, uh, get him ready for bed, maybe you could just watch him tonight so I could go meet Sheila? Well... Ah, uh, look, I, I wouldn't ask you, but uh, she had a big fight with her boyfriend, and uh, I guess she wants advice from an old married lady. Oh, well, if that's the case, maybe you'd better bring her over here, and I'll speak with her. Uh, no, oh. um, no, I don't think that's such a good idea. See, uh, Sheila might feel a little funny about talking to someone she doesn't know too well. Well, maybe that's so, but I would like to meet her sometime, you know. Well, you will, but I don't think tonight's the right night. All right, darling. Maybe getting out would do you some good, anyway. Do me good? Well, Pat said that you weren't feeling too good when you came downstairs. And it's plain to see that you're a little on edge. Yeah, a little, but uh, I'm feeling better, and I'll be fine tomorrow. Well, I hope so. Maeve, mm -hmm. <clears throat> thank you for watching, little John. Oh, well, you know I'm always glad to. Well, almost always. <laughs> I'll get him uh, ready for his bath. I think you may have a little trouble tearing him away from his Uncle Pat down there. I hope not, because I really don't want to keep Sheila waiting. talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up, so damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. You can change the way you look. After having four kids, I really let myself go. Quick Trim helped me lose weight fast. 
I went from a size 14 to a size 6, and I love my new body. Quick Trim. Create the body you deserve. And I'll see you singing something new when the day is done. Because I know you. Your name is someone. The cheese I make is the best part of Stouffer's lasagna. Tomatoes I grow are the best part. Can't have lasagna without cheese. That's a perfect looking tomato. My That's my whole right. Introducing new Stouffer's Farmer's Harvest, now with the goodness of whole grains. Find more ways to get to the table at letsfixdinner.com. Constipated? <laughs> Philips Caplets use magnesium, an ingredient that works more naturally with your colon than stimulant laxatives for effective relief of constipation without cramps. Thanks. Good morning, students. Today, we're going to continue. I'm so lucky, lucky, lucky. I'm so lucky, lucky. I'm so lovely, lovely. I'm so lovely, lovely. A smoother, sleeker look can change your whole world. Legs profiles. You're in luck. You're in legs. But that's going to go right in your glove. Oh, see that? Great job. Okay, now let's get ready for the ball. Here it comes. There you go. Good catch. Perfect. All right, now for the best part. Let's see your four. Ooh, let's get those in the bowl. These are way too good to waste, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Around the bowl. Mm -hmm. um, Share what you love with who you love. Mm. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great. Oh, good catch, Dad. <laughs> Are you ready to be moved with color that moves? Meet the one and only Feria by L'Oreal. Hair color so shimmering, it's the end of dull and flat. So multidimensional, blacks jet with bold tones of blue and reds ignite with flares of copper. Make your move. L'Oreal's Feria. Well, you look like you could do with a bit of a bath yourself, young man. Oh, you'll have to wait in a minute. Come in. Hi, Maeve. You'll, uh, you'll be glad to know I, uh, I finally made out my list. Oh, the wedding invitation. Uh, yep. Oh, good. Oh, well, I can see it's as impressive, impressive as the Gettysburg address. What is Mary's taking to pack in your lunch for you? Uh, uh, that's, that's not my lunch bag. I, uh, I found it in a subway. Um, I, I had a nice, neatly typed list, but I forgot, left it at <laughs> home, so I, I, I had to reconstruct it. Well, I hope I can make out your writing. Now, what's this? P E L L E T E E. Yeah, uh, T I E R I. I see. Hello there, Jack. How are you doing? Okay, Johnny. Uh, wait, wait, what's that? Ah, that's Jack's wedding list. Oh. <laughs> now, you sure you have it all reconstructed? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Well, it's a little on the short side. I mean, I hope you didn't feel that you had to limit yourself. No, no, I, I didn't want to overdo it. I... Well, you're welcome to a good many more than this, if you'd like. I'll, I'll think about it, and, and I'll let you know. All right, you do that. Listen, now, uh, when are you coming down to dinner? Oh, in a while, John. Oh, well, listen, Jack, you're, uh, you're welcome to stay right here with us and have some dinner, uh, provided, of course, you're, you're not meeting Mary or something. Well, thanks, but uh, we're meeting later at, uh, at my place. Your place? Uh, I mean, at, uh, at home. Oh. Oh, I've got something for you to take to Mary. I want her to see it, and I want you to see it, too. Oh, uh, what is it? It's the wedding invitations. They just came this afternoon. I, uh, <clears throat> I guess it's hard thinking that uh, your place belongs to Mary, too, now. Especially after you having it all to yourself all these years. Hmm? Ah, uh, just, uh, just a slip of the tongue from force of habit. <laughs> Here we are. Yes, indeed. Everything's proceeding along, all right? On schedule. Wait till you see them. They're beautiful. Uh, all those? Well, there's one box for the, the uh, invitation to the ceremony, and then we have the reception cards, and we have the envelopes. I, I'll show you how they go together. Well, uh, j just a minute. Uh, uh, you say that Mary hasn't seen these yet? No, no, darling. They just arrived this afternoon, only an hour ago. Well, isn't there uh, uh, some kind of tradition that the, uh, the bride has to see him be before the groom? <laughs> no, I don't think so. And uh, since when you're so intent upon abiding by tradition. Now, this is the important part. Let's take a look. Ah, there it is. Right down in black and white, huh, Jack? Mr. and Mrs. John Michael Ryan request the honor of your presence at the wedding of their daughter, Mary Maeve, to Mr. Jack Finelli. Well, how does it feel, Jack, seeing it all official like that, huh? It feels like I'm uh, finally going to get married to make an honest man of me. Ah, well. 
I'll um, put a set together here for you so that you can take it to Mary. I have to sacrifice the pleasure of seeing her face when she opens it, uh -huh. but I can use my imagination. There you are. Well, could, I, uh, could I have one more of these? Oh, of course. I, uh, I want to take one to Sister Mary Jo. Oh, well, don't you want me to mail it to her? No, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm going to go up and see her now because uh, Mary's going to be home later. Ah. Oh, I thought you were going to stay here and watch the news with us, Jack. I mean, Mary's doing the recap on Gilcrest Manor tonight. Yeah, I know she is. I, uh, I thought I'd see her with Joe. Well, are you sure she's got uh, Channel R on the oh, yeah, cable? Oh, yeah, yeah, she, uh, she's got cable. Ah, oh. well, there you are. Thank you. She kind of surprised you there, didn't she, Jack? Hmm? Oh, uh, being as good at it as she is. Oh, you mean Mary? Yeah. She's a born reporter, isn't she? I mean, uh, really. The work she's done is sensational, right? Yeah. Of course, I know you're as proud of her as we are, right? I sure am. Yeah. John, let the man go. He's got to go up to the Bronx before the show. Yeah. Oh, I, I, excuse me. Uh, you run along and we'll be seeing him. Right. Thank you. Goodbye, Jim. And give some thought to this list. Uh, I will. Well, speaking of being proud, I'm a little proud of you, to say the least. Well, what about? Well, the effort you're making to get along with Jack. Well, I'll tell you something, lady. It's getting easier every day. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because I don't think Jack Finelli's ever going to make it to the altar. Well, that should hold you for a while. Doc says you better get downstairs. It's almost time for the news. Oh, there's still another 20 minutes to go. Is he telling everybody in the bar to be quiet? And not yet, but he has announced last call for drinks before the show. Oh, he has? <laughs> no, but it wouldn't surprise me if he did. I think Mary's broadcasts are going to start costing him money if he's not careful. Oh, dear. <laughs> what was this? Oh, oh. yeah. Uh. Hi, I wasn't expecting you home. I thought you had a dinner meeting. I do, but uh, it's not for a little while yet. Uh, see, I was just downstairs. Pat told me you, you weren't feeling well. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, Pat must have caught me at a bad moment. Well, I'm going to take this back to little John. Yeah, well, uh, tell him I'll be in a couple minutes, okay? Well, yeah, well, uh, Pat said you were lying down. Yeah, I was taking a little nap. I didn't sleep too well last night, but <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, you look fine. You smell <laughs> good, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I can't take you to the meeting with me. Oh, well, uh, you can't? I mean, it's, uh, no wise, right? Mm, no, that's right. Oh, well, I, I wish you would have told me that you were coming home. I wouldn't have made arrangements to go relax, out or anything. Relax, relax, it's okay. Oh, okay, I just, I just don't want to miss any time that we could have together, that's uh, all. That's sweet of you. <sighs> Where are you off to? Oh, I'm uh, just going to meet Sheila, that's all. You don't sound very happy about it. Well, I guess I would be happy if I wasn't so tired. Didn't you call it off? No, it's pretty important to her. Well, why don't you ask her to uh, come over here if you don't feel like going out? Well, your mother asked me if I would do that, but uh, it's too late. I can't reach her. You know, uh, you shouldn't really, uh, you know, and you don't have to jump all the time when Sheila whistles. <laughs> jump? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, it seems like Sheila's an awful demanding friend sometimes. Yeah, I guess she can be. She can be a real pain in the neck sometimes, but um, most of the time I enjoy her. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me you inconvenience yourself a lot for her. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, you, you might feel that uh, overly indebted to her for the help she gave you the night little John Oh, no, no. I mean, if I am, I'm not aware of it. Yeah, well, just don't let her, let her, uh, you know, take advantage of you too often, okay? I won't. Good. She doesn't. Good. Oh, Frankie, I, I, I wouldn't have made these plans if you told me that you were going to be home, really. Oh, that's all right. I'll watch the show with, uh, with the folks and Mary's show, and uh, then I'll go off to my meeting. And uh, you go ahead. You have a good time, huh? I'll try. Sure. Now, you have a wonderfully successful meeting, and I uh, hope you collect loads and loads of money for the campaign. <laughs> Thanks. I hope so, too. I'll miss you, though. I'll miss you, too. Just going off. What's Delia's friend Sheila like? She's 
Sure. I would have no way of knowing. I've never laid eyes on her. And all I know about her is what Delia's told me. Sheila's never come by here? Not while I've been here. Why? Well, doesn't it seem like uh, Dee frequently goes out of her way to accommodate Sheila? Well, it may seem that way, but I think it's perfectly understandable. You do? Why? Well, Dee doesn't have the easiest time making girlfriends. Men, that's something else, but girls, you know, because of the way Dee looks, they get a little uneasy with her. <laughs> I think Dee's a little anxious to keep Sheila as her friend. Yeah, I'll bet you're right. What do you suppose Sheila looks like, huh? Well, if there's time before the meeting, why don't you go buy lemons? Is that where they are? That's what Dee was saying on the phone. I don't think it's a cooking lesson. I think it's they're just having dinner together. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do just that. <laughs> If I had the excuse, I'd go with you. <laughs> Her brave sacrifice. I gave up my sight to have a healthy baby. His dark secret. My daughter's dead. I'm lying to my wife. This week. I wouldn't see again. Dangerous news. What if I could make that happen? Watch All My Children. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Bacon, crispy bacon, tasty bacon! <laughs> Where is it? Where is the bacon? Bacon popular. Story at 11. Yummy, crunchy bacon, bacon, bacon! There in that bag! Who wants a bacon strip? Me! I get it myself, but I don't have thumbs! Yum, 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 yum. It's bacon! Mm, I love you. I love bacon. I love you. I love bacon. Bacon strips. Bacon, There's no bacon, time like bacon, bacon time. Bacon, Share bacon, the fun at bacontime.com. If you want to just push messes around, dishcloths are just fine. For a better shot at getting surfaces clean, you'll want Bounty Extra Soft. In this lab test, Bounty Extra Soft leaves this surface three times cleaner than a dishcloth, even with just one sheet. Super clean, super soft. Bounty Extra Soft in the pink pack and try Bounty Napkins. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. I, uh, I thought you ought to see this. Jack Finelli, if this is what I think it is, it's the answer to my prayers. Ah, so you're the one to blame. Mm. Oh, now, don't be flip. I want to savor this. Oh. oh, my dear, I couldn't be more pleased. I thought you might be. And um, a little bit ashamed. Ashamed of what? Well, when you told me that you were going to give Mary a ring, I... I wasn't quite sure about your motive. You mean you uh, felt that uh, I didn't really uh, want to marry her? I hoped you did. Oh, and I prayed. I prayed that you would find it in yourself to open your heart and your mind to a real commitment to Mary. And you have, and my prayers are answered, and I... All right, all right, stop it right now. Just stop it. Stop what, Yeah, well, don't do this to me, that's all. Oh, I can't stop it if I don't know what it is I'm doing. You're trying to make me feel guilty. I am doing no such thing. Where'd you ever get that idea? Why do you think I came to see you, Joe? Well, to bring me the wedding invitation, of course. I could have mailed you a wedding invitation. I could have called you up on the phone, invited you to my wedding, if that's what I wanted. I came over to see you in person because I wanted to talk to you about one or two things. Everything isn't as beautiful as it seems. There's a small problem. Oh, I was so overcome by my own happiness, I, I failed to notice your distress. I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, I, but I had no intentions of making you feel guilty about anything. I know you didn't, I... It wasn't fair of me, I'm sorry. Besides, I don't need you to make me feel guilty. I can do that well enough by myself. What have you done to make you... So angry with yourself. You were right. The ring, the engagement was nothing but a ploy to keep from losing Mary and get her father off my back. Well, then how did that happen? 
Well, everything starts snowballing. Everybody got swept up in the old Ryan family enthusiasm. Including you, apparently. I didn't know how to stop it. She left me, and it was my proposal that got her back, and it seemed to smooth things out with her family, and for a while, everything was going just right. Even though you planned all along to deceive her? No, wait a minute. I didn't deceive her. When I gave her the ring, I was very careful. I specifically didn't say that I wanted us to get married right away. Uh, what did you expect her to think that you meant? Well, she knew I felt about marriage. She knew that I had to sneak up on it. All the more reason for her to, to accept your proposal very seriously. I suppose. Well, anyway, when the question of the date came up, I figured just go along with it for a while and then, then try to find some way to postpone it later on. Or, or, or maybe I, I thought they'd probably get the idea they had enough excitement with her, with her brother's political campaign. Or maybe she'd get involved with her job. Or I, I don't know. I just never really thought it would happen. Oh. And now every day I get in deeper and deeper and I don't know how to get out. Yes, you do have a problem. I love her, Joe. I don't want to lose her. But I don't want to marry her either. But you knew this. You knew this all along. I, I wanted to be able to marry her. I, I just can't convince myself. And now I'm scared. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out. Take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless. Only on SoapNet. Erica. Where am I? Tomorrow. Okay, it's okay. You're a little confused. Why is this happening? You know that friend you have? The one that seems to have it all figured out? Do you want to commit our daughter? She's got the great job. Let me help you. The great guy. Just admit that you know me. Great life. I want my life back. You give me my life back. You're not that girl. What really happened to Erica Strange? This isn't real. This isn't real. The season finale of Being Erica, tomorrow at 11 on SoapNet. Welcome to Glad TV. Thanks, Skylar. Let's go to last night's highlights. There's mom and dad cleaning up. And there's the meatloaf. Yuck. Look what sometimes happens with the ordinary bag. It slips. Oh, bingo. Falls in. Mom was mad. Mom should have used Glad Force Flex with the stretchable drawstring that grips the can and stays in place. Plus, it has a stretchable strength of force flex. That's all today for Glad TV. Don't get mad, get glad! You can change the way you look. I have two children and could not get rid of those last 20 pounds until I tried Quick Trim's Extreme Burn. I went from a size eight to a size zero, and I'm thrilled. Quick Trim, create the body you deserve. Color, color, don't go away. New Avena Living Color Hair Care. The first active naturals formulas with lupin botanicals help protect color from fading for up to 40 washes. Now color stays vibrant. Every day. Visit Aveeno.com for a free sample of new living color. 15 seconds with Michael Easton. What do I like to do on my downtime for fun? I have this old Norton 850 Commando motorcycle that I spend most of my time working on and occasionally getting to ride. Catch Michael Easton on One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. This week... I killed someone, Mom. Two parents face a difficult choice. Can you actually see turning in your own son? Then... He tried to kill himself. Rex wants his family back. I will do whatever I can. I love you. Will you marry me? Watch One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Very sunny Corinthos. The son of a mob boss framed by his enemy. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of Brandon Long. Can Sonny save one son by forcing the hand of the other? There are lines I will not cross. Use your badge this time to protect your brother. Watch General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. The truth is out. Their lives exposed. Their secrets revealed. <sighs> The book everyone's talking about. And now the reviews are in. If you're gonna burn one book this year, burn this one. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli has hit the shelves, and things will never be the same on General Hospital. Scandalous. 
The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli. Now available at abc.com and wherever books are sold. Who still uses the word minx? as charming and bright on the screen as she is off. She's terrific, isn't she? A remarkable young woman. And I am so glad that she found a worthwhile place to apply her talents. Yeah, she's great. But she's just beginning. Now, don't you think that if she gets married now, just as she's starting a new career, that it'd be a mistake? I mean, I mean, if, if she were to come to you for advice, if any, any woman were to come to you for advice, now, I mean, don't you think that it it's unwise to, to begin a new career and a new marriage at the same time. Oh, my dear Jack, you will not get out of it that easily. I have a good point, don't I? It doesn't matter whether you have a point or not. Mary is planning to be married in less than three weeks. Yeah, but if she, if she thought about what she's got going for her at Channel R, I mean it. It's a great opportunity. Now, it, it deserves her full attention. I mean, how is she going to plan a big wedding and launch a new career at the same time? Well, apparently Mary thinks she can handle it all. Well, maybe, uh, maybe if you were to talk to her, if you were to point out... If now, you were... Jack, you stop that right now. I am always delighted to see Mary anytime, but not to relieve you of your responsibilities. Now, I've got to go to chapel. Would you like to come along? Thanks. Not today. You know, it's not a bad place for you to look for help. Well, I really ought to get home to Mary. Well, I hope that means that you're going to take care of this right away. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll do it as soon as I can. I know you'll do what's right. Well, it's always a joy to see you, no matter what the reason for your visit. Mind if I use your phone, Joe? Not at all. Oh, and you might try picking up your own phone once in a while and give me a call from time to time. I will. <laughs> City desk, please. Bill, Finelli. Look, I got a big favor to ask. Now, for very personal reasons, I'd give an arm and a leg to cover the national convention. I want to be busy 24 hours a day around the end of June, beginning of July. Yeah, yeah, I sure am. C can you swing it for me? It, it is important, very important. I told you, personal reasons. It, all right, I'll tell you exactly. I'm trying to postpone a wedding. Mine. Bill, I'd be forever grateful. No, no, d don't call me back here. I won't be at this number. Look, this is what I'd really like you to do. Wait about 45 minutes and then call me at home and offer me the job. Can you do that? I know, but will you do what you can? Terrific. Thanks, man. You swing this one. I owe you one for life. We haven't seen you in a while, Mrs. Ryan. Oh, um, we've been very busy. Frank's campaigning and everything. Oh, that's good news for all of us. Are you waiting for him? Uh, no. No, I'm uh, waiting for a friend. Oh, is there anything else I can bring you now? No, uh, we'll order later. Thank we you. have the Peking duck tonight. Terrific. <sighs> oh, Frank. Hi. Uh, what are you doing here? Um, what, what about your dinner meeting? Yeah, well, I'm on my way, but I had a couple minutes, so I thought I'd stop by and meet Sheila. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.